Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about a hairdryer, blow dryer, or however you want to name it. Well, I would have never reviewed a hairdryer on my YouTube channel, but this one here is really special. Now the design, you probably have seen it already somewhere else. Um, it's very similar, but um, it's really affordable and the specs are super amazing. But why is this hairdryer so interesting for me? So little story time about my private life. Um, last Christmas, I bought my girlfriend this hairdryer. So this is the Dyson. I don't know which model it is. Um, it's a really amazing hairdryer, but it cost me over around about 400 euros, which I think for a hairdryer is a really premium price tag. And for me as a man, um, it just blows hot air, you know? Anyhow, um, um, this one here is like half of the price and it looks quite similar, has some even more nice features. And yeah, today um, we check it out to see um, if it really comes close to the Dyson one. So let's go and let's unpack it. So this is the Life and Swift. You can find more information down below in the description. And now let's go, let's unpack it and let's check it out. Package looks pretty premium, reminds me kind of of an Apple product. Anyhow, let's open it up. Let's check it out, what we have inside and which accessories. And there we go. And here it is. So first look um, from the dimensions, it looks quite similar to the Dyson one. Um, yeah, we have the cable, we have one attachment here. And what do we have right over here? And I guess in here we have the user manual. All right, so let's check it out. Well, attachment, so far as I can see, um, there is one inside, which is absolutely enough because we're never changing the attachments on it. And it looks like this is magnetic. And yeah, that, that's really amazing. So it's magnetic. You can just turn it, take it off like this. That's pretty cool. So regarding the weight, it feels quite nice. I think it's a little bit lighter. Now let's remove the plastic. And right over here, we have what seems like the power button and here to switch between um, two different modes and off. And what's pretty cool is actually that here is an LED ring that indicates um, if it's currently um, hot, cool or whatever and yeah um, the magnetic attachments i think that's a really cool thing other than that well guys basically it's a hair dryer i would say let's just go let's turn it on and let's check it out well guys i just got told by my friend helping me to film that the dyson also has this magnetic um, attachment here I, I didn't know that because i never used it actually but as you can see um it's pretty much the same system on both and it works pretty smooth now the Lifen um, hairdryer is a little bit smaller um, on the top here, but from the length, yeah, it's almost the same. And both have um, the filter at the bottom. On the Lifen it comes off really easily, so you just remove it like this in any direction. On the Dyson you have to turn to lock, and as you can see, there's a little bit of um, dust inside. Anyhow, um, yeah, we have um, si a similar button layout. So we have here the button to turn it on, on both of them. And on the Dyson, we have here only a turn on and off button. And on the Life and here, we have two different modes. Well, on the Dyson here, you also have some buttons here to adjust several things um, here. You don't, but um, I guess you don't need at all. Anyhow, guys, let's just turn it on. Let's check the noise levels and the air output. Now, um, Lifem has developed this model here for over one year. So they claim that it has a brushless digital motor inside with over 110,000 RPM, which is pretty crazy. So um, in order to turn it on, um, there's the switch. This is the first mode. That's quite some good throughput. And here's the second mode, which is already pretty strong. And you probably noticed that there's an LED ring around it. So the LED ring basically tells you um, if you're currently in the cool air mode and the medium mode or in the hot mode. And um, to basically switch between the modes, you just turn it on on the strength you want. And then you press the button right over here. So here we have um, the medium mode. And if it turns red, we have the hot mode. And now it gets really hot. So actually, it's really simple to use. Um, you can cycle between the modes right over here, one, two, three, and you have two modes for um, the throughput, so basically for the motor. And even at a maximum, which should be around 110,000 RPM, it's actually not too noisy, right? Yes. Perfect. 
Well now, regarding the heat modes, um, the medium mode is 50 degrees, now the hot mode is 80 degrees and has a smart temperature monitoring inside, so it measures um, the temperature 100 times per second to really make sure that you're not overheating your hair so that it starts to break or fall off or something. I think really cool technology and um, the temperature coming out stays really constant, so that is working really well. Also, there's another mode, so if you turn it on and you long press um, this mode button right over here, it goes into auto cycle mode. That basically changes between cool, warm and hot all of the time to make it more convenient so that um, when you're drying your hair that it's not getting too hot, which is a pretty cool thing. Just turn it on, long press this button and as you can see on the lights right over here, it indicates also the mode it's currently cycling through. Pretty cool. Also, it has something, I have no idea how it works. Um, it's a negative ion generator. Basically, um, that helps you to remove dryness and frizz. Um, my girlfriend will try it out to give you more feedback on this. I have no idea how this technology actually works, but it seems to be pretty standard for hair dryers right now. And it's also in the Life and Swift. Hey, hey, babe, stop, 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 stop. There is a new hair dryer to test for you. Okay. Okay, plug it in. You, you will be surprised. And tell me your opinion after. So, well, it's, it's, it's like your old hair dryer. This here is magnetic. You can take it off, try it. So, feels pretty much the same, right? Yeah. Exactly. Now, to turn it on, there are two modes. If you slide up here, there's the first. And there's the second. Now, turn it off. And you see this LED ring? Mm -hmm. It was red. That means it's hot. Then there is warm if you press this button it goes to um, orange and if you press the button again it goes to cool mode or wait for it there is this pretty cool mode yes if you hold it then it cycles through the mode and this helps you to remove what is it called a frizz what is frizz yes. yeah to make it just just try it out now So, babe, how did you like the hair dryer? Yeah, it's very nice, very light. I like it. Okay, and what about the LEDs? You you don't usually don't like LEDs, but I think it's, it's very beautiful. practical. Yeah, practical. I can know the temperature by colors. That's great. Yeah, and what about the noise? It's not so noisy. It's and the strength good. of the air? I cannot really. Yeah, for my hair, I have too many, too much hair, so that's perfect. All right, guys, you heard it. So as I obviously don't use a hairdryer, <laughs> we had someone testing it out. Approved. Hey, babe, I forgot something. How much you think this hairdryer costs? 400? Guess again. 450? No, 159 US dollars. Wow, that's a good price. That's pretty crazy. Yes. So guys, I'm pretty surprised and I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not disappointed by the products, but I'm disappointed that I paid so much. So half of the price tag for almost the same features or um, the life is even better in some of the features, like it's not that noisy, um, it's tinier as you can see, it has those cool LED lights. So for me as someone who doesn't understand too much about hair dryers, um, I think the life one is the way to go. Anyhow, um, if you want to have more information on the hair dryer, you can find it down below in the description. So just have a look, check it out guys. And if you have any questions about the product, feel free to ask and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. So as always guys, big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. <laughs>